here we are. I'm out in front of the house, and uh, this is the way I've done the front. This this video is about um, natural flowers. You know, not the kind that you buy wherever you buy them, but the ones that would just. This is actually a manicured environment. It looks sort of spontaneous, but to a degree, it's manicured. I rake it, get the uh, clover coming in here. These little flowers, I think they're from more of a California type thing. These here are native. Uh, I think my mother said that you could take the tops and they would put them in pillows and that, that would help with breathing problems if you're having some sort of breathing problem. Okay, so th this is pretty subtle. A lot of what causes it to be the way it is are these oak trees that they're growing underneath. Usually not too much, as you can tell back through there with the uh, moss and all that, not too much grows under an oak tree. I rake this a lot. That's part of the manicured look, even though it looks sort of spontaneous. Okay, so getting a little yellow, this watercress coming in here, that's pretty exciting. And then the, the guy down the road, he sort of, He's kind of liking the color. He's almost ready to, you know, he's, he wants to make it like a park. Okay, sure. Um, it rolls on out through here. Um, these buttercups. You always hear about buttercups, but I had never seen any buttercups until about six or eight years ago around here. Uh, but maybe that's because of climate change. That's, you know, you're seeing different plants. Um, okay, so these, the, the breathing plants, <laughs> whatever they are, I don't know. I could look it up, maybe somebody, oh, okay, we got like a little home going on here too. Since it's been raining a lot, the water almost stays in there. It's a frog lives in there. Every time I um, walk by, usually he'll, I hear the little plunk, you know. Um, so this is nice, okay. I'm just sort of wanting to record the thing for myself also. On this side, this is a brick driveway. It's the only one in the county. It's pretty cool. I made it myself. There's like several dump truck loads of bricks that is salvage. Yeah, it was a salvage yard deal not a salvage yard they had a train station and these were at a train station okay victorian 1870s and uh they were going to redo the whole deal and they took these up some of them are broken and some of them aren't and all that um it's got the name where they came from peoples let me see if i can get a good one well time's marching on you know morning is too so this is the other side. This is more of my wildflower meadow. You know, I got a package of seeds one time and they said you could have a wildflower meadow. And it, it happened, I got, I got some good results from it. I got these Scandinavian, I had large stands of Scandinavian daisies that were pretty impressive. Um, here's the mailbox. I'm going to open it because there's a fly, uh, there's, a, there's a wasp that wants to live there. And I don't want to kill the wasp, but I don't want him living there either. Um, it looks like the last deal did it. Um, this is nice. Kind of, I think. I think this is what uh, spring is. This is spring. This is what spring looks like to me. You know, a day in spring. Over here, we're back to the neatly trimmed uh, quarter inch. You know, grooming clean. Kind of like the uh, hairstyle from the GI hairstyle from the 50s. This is nice. I got like a little emotional relationship with this plant. This plant used to be over there, and it was great. And then it fell on hard times and started getting grown up, almost went out. And I dug it up and brought it over here. And this is the second year here. You can look down here and see this water. 
It's like an underground stream. And because of all the rain, the stream is becoming like lasting. It's, there it runs, you know. If another rain came, it would be back almost to like a creek, not a creek, but a stream or something. Some irises, they're getting ready to bloom too, so that's kind of exciting. Um, I don't know what these are. It smells like a bathroom soap or something. <laughs> I know. When you, it's kind of like when you smell the real thing, you think it's artificial. Yeah. They're really kind of pretty. I hadn't really... This is probably the top of the uh, their experience, you know? Well, I don't know. They're, it's a lot of them still haven't opened up. And it, there's some underlying plants here also. So it gives you two, like, these are nice, and then these kind of 2D effect. They've almost got a little purple tinge to them. So when someone drives by, this creates a lot of movement and flow. Okay. <clears throat> so then we're all into the uh, the little white ones now. They were on the under. These are fading out. The, the environment, maybe it's not quite as much water here uh, as that spot down there. And that's the end of the, uh, uh, what's that? It's a dome. It's a dome I built. I created it. It was a good way to store bricks. It's a brick storage place. The bricks are piled up. Makes it look interesting. I was intrigued by the way domes were made. People always say, can you get in? <laughs> Whatever. No, it's not quite 